Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a listening exercise and the subject is police operation. So let's start. So the lesson plan, we will start with some vocabulary. There are two new words for you. Then I will give you the questions that I would like you to answer. And then, third, you will listen to the article, which is called Police Operation, and you will have time to answer the questions. Then I will give you the correct answers to those questions with an explanation, and you will listen to the article one last time with the transcript on the screen. Okay? Vocabulary. Fine. This is a noun. And here is the pronunciation. Fine. Fine. And the meaning is, well, a fine is an amount of money that you must pay if you are guilty of a crime. Okay? So, if somebody commits a crime, or does a crime, sometimes they go to prison, but sometimes, other times, they must pay a fine. Okay? So here is an example. The man must pay a fine of a thousand pounds because he stole a camera. Okay? So the man is guilty of stealing the camera and his punishment is he must pay a fine. The second word is motorist. This is also a noun. Here is the pronunciation. Motorist. And a motorist is a person who drives a vehicle. Okay, it's another word perhaps for driver. But very important, it is a general term. So that means that the vehicle, it can be a car, maybe a lorry, a motorbike, or a van. Okay, so it's the driver of any vehicle. Example. Here is a motorist driving to work. Okay, let's now look at the questions. Question 1. Police officers in Leicester are taking action against motorists and there are three missing words. Okay, so question 1. Find the three missing words. Question 2. What are the police officers looking for? So the answer is, they are looking for... And there are three words that I want you to, to find. Question 3. What has a fine of £30? What has a fine of £30? And there are three missing words. Question 4. In serious cases, the vehicle is one word. And the last question, question 5. What are the police trying to encourage? And question 5. There are two words that I want you to find. Okay? So, those are the five questions, you are now going to listen to the article. Okay? So get ready. I'm going to play you the article. Now. Police officers in Leicester are taking action against motorists' selfish parking habits. 
they are looking for badly parked cars and are taking photographs of them as proof. One photograph shows a car which is parked across a pavement and almost touching the front of a house. Other photographs show vehicles on double yellow lines, in front of garages and even at bus stops. Causing an obstruction has a fine of £30. In serious cases, the vehicle is confiscated. The total cost to recover a confiscated vehicle is £150 plus £20 per day. A resident said, I'm glad the police are doing this because bad parking is a problem here. He added, people in wheelchairs should not have to go in the road because someone in a car has blocked the pavement. Sergeant Painter said, we are trying to encourage good parking, particularly around schools. This is the kind of operation we want to do more of, solving problems which are clearly a concern for residents. Okay, so that is the end of the article. If you need more time to listen again, then click on the screen here and you will go back and you will listen again. Or if you have finished, then just wait a few seconds and then I will give you the answers. Okay, let's carry on. So I will now give you the answers to the questions. So question one, I asked, police officers in Leicester are taking action against motorists, selfish parking habits, selfish parking habits. So this is perhaps a new word for you selfish. Selfish is an adjective and here is the pronunciation selfish and it means somebody who only thinks about himself or herself. So it is a person who never thinks about other people. He's only interested in himself or herself. Example. Mark never helps me with the housework. He is very selfish. Okay, so Mark never thinks about other people. Question two, I asked, what are the police officers looking for? And there were three words. Well, the answer is, they are looking for badly parked cars. Badly parked cars. Question three, I asked, what has a fine of 30 pounds? And I was looking for three words. Well, the answer is, causing an obstruction. Causing an obstruction. Question four, I was looking for one word. The answer is, in serious cases, the vehicle is confiscated. Confiscated. Question five, I asked, what are the police trying to encourage? And there were two words. Well, the answer is, good parking good parking. Okay, so those are the answers to the questions. I am now going to show you the transcript of the article. Here it is. And you will now listen to the article. So get ready. I'm going to play it for you. Now, Police officers in Leicester are taking action against motorists' selfish parking habits. They are looking for badly parked cars and are taking photographs of them as proof. One photograph shows a car which is parked across a pavement and almost touching the front of a house. 
Other photographs show vehicles on double yellow lines, in front of garages, and even at bus stops. Causing an obstruction has a fine of £30. In serious cases, the vehicle is confiscated. The total cost to recover a confiscated vehicle is £150 plus £20 per day. A resident said, I'm glad the police are doing this because bad parking is a problem here. He added, people in wheelchairs should not have to go in the road because someone in a car has blocked the pavement. Sergeant Painter said, we are trying to encourage good parking, particularly around schools. This is the kind of operation we want to do more of, solving problems which are clearly a concern for residents. Okay, so that is the end of the article with the transcript on the screen. And that is the end of the lesson. So if you want to subscribe, you can click here on the screen. Here is my Twitter account. Um, on Twitter, I give lots of new vocabulary. And here are some other videos which you might be interested in. So to start one of these videos, simply click on the screen. Okay, so my name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.